Because uh, I think that would be really fun. And one of the things I was thinking is, uh, one problem we run into is scheduling issues. Mm-hmm. And so I was thinking, I could even say, screw it with scheduling issues. If you have to go early, your character just gets, like, blasted. And, like... Has to be dragged back to the ship. Yeah, exactly. That, like, it is... It is so, like, freewheeling that somebody just shows up in the middle of the session. As long as they have the character sheet, we just, like, make it work. And if somebody has to go because, you know, they got an event in the evening, but they still wanted to be there for the first two hours, their character gets, uh, you know, taken out in the middle of the mission, you know, vented into space by a rogue explosive. <laughs> you know, just all sorts of insane, goofy nonsense to just let let the show go on regardless of who's there and then I just post a recap between well I'd probably have you do the recaps every time let's see just want to say the thing that keeps me coming back to your channel and on YouTube is how much you two remind me of friends I had growing up and now it's a pleasant odd mix of fun and nostalgia listening to you yeah thank you <laughs> alright I've pulled an in the entire air force back to the capital Probably so you just can melt down their jets into something more useful. They left the navy behind. You'll need to clear out these ships if you're going to have a chance of getting back, uh, getting to the elevator. Destroy enemy ships. Sea hunter. Oh, Peter! Pirate scum, turn back immediately or face the wrath of my... Oh no, it's you! Hi, Peter. Ready for another beating? Uh, yes, I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, uh, prepare to die. So he couldn't make it in the Air Force, the Army, and that's why he's saying he wanted to try the Navy. Uh. This is freaking messy. Mm -hmm. okay. I suppose the Navy has aircraft carriers at its disposal. Yep. Yeah, you got injured a little bit there. Yeah, I have time for that one bad. For some reason, I'm remembering people saying, The Navy, the Navy. What is that from? In the Navy. Uh, it's from... Gosh, I want to say it's from the same people that did YMCA. Oh, really? Yeah. So they had a song? That's just in the Navy? Yeah. Hmm. It's like, in the Navy, you can sail the seven seas <laughs> in the Navy. But it's like, I want to <laughs> say it's like a weird parody implying... A song by the village people. Huh. I'll have to listen to that later. I have no idea if the enemies are infinitely respawning. I kind of hope I can clear them out. Maybe until the boat is itself is done. That sometimes is how these things work. But I don't see an HP bar for it. It's not a boss. Oh. You just have to keep firing upon it until it shows visible damage. Oh, is it dead? It's dead. No. Nope, oh, no, it ain't. There, there it is. I just missed it. But yeah, so I, I need to approach people about potentially doing a campaign like that. Either our stumped friends first, or maybe some of the wholesome boys, if any of them are up for it. I have no idea if any of them are really big on D&D. I'd is... like to bring your brother on for something. Yeah, well, especially now that he's got a good microphone. Yeah, wonder. Got him a nice mic and stuff, so it'll be fun. Yeah, I was recording Terraria with my brother today. I guess a number of people were around for that. And my brother is using my old uh, snowball. Or, no, he bought himself a snowball. Yeah, I don't know where the snowball is. Oh, uh, my one. dad has it. 
Your dad has that yeah. snowball? Okay. Okay. Woo! That's quite a number of missiles trailing after you. Yeah. Keep firing on that boat. I'm just gonna let them take me out. Really? I, I need a bomb. You need I a bomb. can't hit that thing. The Well, let's see. Dumb bomb? Dumb bomb seems like it'll do enough damage. I could also go for a ballistic proximity charge. There we go. Just adjusting my mic a little bit. Yep. All right. I can just do this. Oh, there's multiple ships. That's what it is. Oh. All right, then. Oh. And you must destroy them all. what's going to be your primary focus. Well. There we go. Dumb bomb. I was wondering why there is... Uh, so you're using the bomb rather than the homing missiles? Yep. The homing missiles were going for the jets. It splits its targets. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Also, you don't have the little drones with you to fire on the ships? Those keep getting blown up. They do? Aww. Yeah, which is kind of a letdown. Oh, wait. There's a dark jet up high. One of the ones with the dark trails. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. But yeah, now I've just got proximity charges. And the dumb bomb. I should probably start charging. Dang it. Dumb bomb's kind of hard to fire because you don't drop it like a torpedo. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Torpedoes would actually be kind of lovely in this. Though only useful if you're fighting above water. Is well, true. Oh, it got the missile. That's okay. Oh, that that looks like it's a floating shell. Yeah, I, I got it with the proximity charges. Mm-hmm. This is just utter chaos. Oh. Are you going for the other boat? I overheated. Oh, is that why you took damage? Yeah. I should probably get the... Is there a coolant perk or yeah, something? Yeah, there is actually a coolant perk. if I didn't have to hit something below me. Okay. There. Oh, no. You only have one heart left, don't you? Yep. Don't let Peter defeat you. Then again, Peter has a lot of allies in this. Beforehand, wasn't he primarily on his own? Yeah, I think... Also, it might be beneficial to take out those laser sighters on the sides. Yeah, they're starting to... The problem is they infinitely spawn. Oh, the laser ones do? As far as I can tell, yeah. I 
And so I'm trying to manage my heat a little bit. Got it. Nice. So does that mean there are any more boats? Or is it just a matter of picking off the rest of the... Nope, there's the last boat. Or, I have no idea if that's even the last boat. Oh. Did you drop whatever it was you were firing into the yeah, water? Yeah, I dropped the bomb, but it missed it entirely. Taking damage. It's getting hit. Now you have a lot of fighters around you. Oh, did you manage to hit with the big bomb? No, those are proximity charges. This is the big bomb. Yep. Just plinks in the water. Ah. Uh. Uh. Well, there Got it goes. It. Yeah, I think my brother would be up for it. The other thing I would have to do is really start sinking a lot more of my time into artwork. Which has been difficult lately. Mm -hmm. God, there's another boat! How many boats are there going to be? I wish there was just one! And it was a hard boat. But you're fighting the Navy. All the Navy. The remainder of the Navy. Pretty much whatever is left, because apparently everything else is getting smelted. Nope, I... You died on it. I fired myself into it. Pressed the wrong button. Okay, loadout. So I don't think dumb bomb works. Let's do the auto drones. Honestly, the auto drones probably work better than the bomb. Because, yeah, the bomb I actually have to, like, aim. And it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Like, for something like the bomb, I almost feel like a lock-on on big, big structures would work better. The Navy actually has a lot of of air vest. Like they have, a, they have their. It's not an air force per se, but I don't think the air force necessarily operates on the naval ships. I think they're considered naval flyers, right? Yeah. I mean, I'd have to look into it a bit more, but I've definitely seen planes that. Our Navy as opposed to Air Force, if especially if they're stationed on the aircraft carriers. All right, I forgot to get the um, Blue Angels, our Navy. Huh, it makes sense. I forgot to get the heat management. this. There's my drones. Yeah, the problem is my drones just get killed real quick, mm -hmm. which renders them kind of ineffective, which sucks. Woo. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. If you had to be part of one of the three, what would you be? Mm. 
like army engineers would be kind of cool. Oh, you mean engineers? Yeah. Like, I, the other thing would be like, uh, I did a lot of projects on propaganda when I was young, because I thought propaganda was really cool. Hmm. And obviously massively insidious. Uh-huh. So did you do a lot of research on the tactics? Yeah. Uh, tactics and styles and, like, major artists. Mm-hmm. Because I thought that was neat. There's just something about naval warfare that always scared me. My grandfather was in the Navy. I think the main thing is just like... Being out on the open ocean and if that detonates and blows up, you're out in the water. Which yep. will potentially kill you on its own. Either through hypothermia or uh, just drowning in it. Yeah. I think also there's a lot of really kind of horrible media related to uh, naval stuff, specifically Pearl Harbor and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it shouldn't be terribly surprising. Uh, that, like, it's not as glamorous looking because of the media. Whereas, to me, like, it, it's interesting that we still have... I, I suppose there's still a military presence with the army. But if you think about it, hasn't the capability of drones and planes to just decimate whole areas with bombings and stuff just rendered warfare useless? You'd think so. And I think the point is, like, drone strikes really are not... Well, they can't, effective. They, well, they're not selective about there we go. who they hit. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about those. No. Though. Retreat, retreat. She's too many for us. This has nothing to do with something or other. Honestly, Peter, why do they keep putting you in charge of things? My dad's rich. My dad's rich. This whole government thing is not proving itself to be particularly... Uh... Oh, gosh. No, nah, remember? We, we heard it from the pirates. Everyone's fighting amongst themselves. This is just the nature of humanity, and he just wants to kill it. Well, well to control it. Yep. Control the basest and vilest of human nature. Fight. Uh, uh. Oh, the elevator mission going up? Eh, probably fine. All right, you've gotten us this far, and I'm almost beginning to feel like I can trust you. That space elevator is all that's standing between us and our one shot at Aegis, and all that's standing between us and the elevator are Steve and his goons. Can we count on you to punch through? Okay, I did what you asked. What's the rest of the plan? What? I need arm space. This game's hard. Okay. A few years ago, my faction gained control of two decommissioned nuclear missiles. When Aegis first re-emerged, we tried firing one at the final retort. But when the missile passed through low, low or la, sorry, when the missile passed through low orbit, something shot it down. We suspect it's an old missile defense system. We need you to access the space elevator. Get up there and destroy that defense system. Then we can hit Aegis with our remaining nuke. You want us to help you detonate an atomic weapon directly above our island's largest population center. I told you it was a bad plan. The people affected by the blast are only a fraction of those we'd be saving. Listen, Ash. You're the only one with the skills to do this. And you told me you always try to do what's right. I won't try to force you into it. And I won't even try to talk you into it. That goes against what I believe in. All I'm going to do is ask. Knowing what you know now, does this seem like the right thing to do? Hmm. 
Captain? I can't make this choice for you either, Ash. But I'll go where you go. And don't even... Don't ask me for advice either. You probably weren't going to. But I just wanted to get ahead of things. All right. Let's go. I feel like she's just going to be like, Don't nuke it. I'm going to take it out. Yeah, I... Because all those innocent people just... Ah. Uh... Also... When Aegis had taken over, was it making everyone's lives miserable and killing people? Or was it just a kind of weird force, forcibly making everyone pacifist and compliant? I mean, it made a giant railgun to point at everything, so. Ah. Uh, oh, did it make the railgun with the intention of destroying the entire planet first, but the rebels fought back? Is that No. I think it was just going to render everybody uh, let's see I, I think it was just going to straight oh, up 100,000 points in two more minutes yeah. well you're you're a quarter of the way there you're getting close to a third of the way there Yeah. I had one grandfather who was part of the military, and another grandfather who was part of the Air Force. Granted, as a dentist, so he didn't see any combat. I, I'd i like to ask about my other grandfather and his experiences in the war. I don't know much, much about it, but the war that I'm referring to is World War II. And my family actually has some Nazi medals in their possession because those were stripped from uh, the officers that they interrogated. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Interesting bit of history. Makes me wonder then, did he serve in Europe in such icy? I know absolutely nothing about what he had done. I really only knew about what he had done after the war. I know my mother's father served and he was a mechanic on a destroyer? Ooh, cool. Yeah, not... Which destroyer? Hell if I know. <laughs> You'd have to ask my mother. A lot of them were named after states and cities and presidents. Was it a destroyer? It was a bigger ship? Now I'm trying to think of what all of the... Because there's... Maybe I'm thinking back to, like, the old school cutters and clippers. And... Destroyer, their carriers. Because the destroyers were small. Battleships. Destroyers were kind of the smaller, faster, more lightly armed battleships. I think were the biggest non-plane ones. I I don't know. I I really do not get into military tech. That is just absolutely outside my wheelhouse. Hey. I used to watch a lot of military documentaries, but I should probably catch up with what Black was Knight. it? Hmm? I wonder what's the worst game you've ever played? Ooh, Squirreltopia, maybe. There's, there's some real crappy like indie games that I've played, but I don't. The moment I realize the game is bad, I stop playing it. Hey, Ash, I wanted to talk to you before you went up there. My telemetry I have on that thing says it's small and fast. My whiskers are right violent. Be careful. Reminds me a lot of your jet, so who knows what it's capable of. All right. The Black Knight. Oh, yeah, so it was a battleship. Destroyers are smaller.
What are you guys waiting for? Launch my jet. We need to make out, take out this defense system. It's not going to be that simple. The probes I sent up have been shot down. This isn't some standard missile defense system. Something's out there. Something? Looks like a single jet, but I'm getting minimal life signs on board. It's not responding on any hailing frequency. And the images I've been able to get looks an awful lot like your jet. So, I'll shoot it down. Just like I always do. I don't think I need to tell you. Or maybe I do. We don't know half of what your jet can do. You know that limiter setting? The one I told you not to bypass. Pretty sure deactivating it would completely destroy the ship. But before it did... I'm just saying, if that ship's on autopilot, it's got no reason to keep a limiter on. It could kill you both easily. Well, the way I see it, I've got two options. To go out there and risk death, or give up and spend the rest of my life wishing I was dead. I know, I just... Be careful. Come on. You know better than that by now. Yeah, I do. Attempting secure handshake with asset... <laughs> Probability of survival, zero percent. Retreat now. There is nothing for you here. Hmm. I can't back down now. You know that. I know that. Just fly. There's just simple piano music out here. It's effective. And that's not Pierce, is it? It's something else. Just a dark version of your own ship? Mm hmm. Or the original? Mm hmm. I hope this is not one of those dumb when the uh when the battle lose the cutscene situations. Uh, they would have made it more difficult if you were supposed to lose, I would think. I mean, this is actually pretty hard. I've actually completely lost it. There he is. He's he's going around in circles just like you. And he's actually, yeah, he fell away for a moment. Got him. But then what about you? I... Didn't know. It looked like you had blown up C? too? Oh. Colossal battle armor detected. New module unlocked. No, you're fine. I, I expected there to be a cutscene after that. What just happened? Every rocket you evade, it's sent back to your enemies. Ooh. It's real good. Also, how is the chance of survival really 0%? You can see which ones I've cleaned and which ones I've aced. Mm-hmm. I would have made it look like a joke, like a reverse bullet hell. This game, this game is everything I wish bullet hells were. It's so satisfying. You gotta fight this thing, you better go prepared. The armor you're facing seems to have been constructed by melting down most of the Royal Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> Scans indicate the energy signature is six times more powerful than anything you fought before. I believe it's using all six power cores taken from other machines. It's not got no obvious weak points, no shortage of ammunition. 
It's still time to turn back, Ash. Ooh. Ash, come in, Ash. Pierce, you're piloting this behemoth? You bastard! Take your weapons offline and land your jet, Ash. You're a confirmed terrorist, but I'll try and intervene on your behalf if you stand down now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? You just launched a nuclear weapon at our capital! It's no use reasoning with her commander. The AI on board her jet has warped her mind. She's lost to us. Is that true, Ash? Alert. Hostile asset. Steel rip is it Repost. Repost? Okay, I was about to say Ripochet, but no. Steel Repost. Acquired. System override. Retreat is prohibited until target is eliminated. Sure is. So, if it's using how many cores? Was it four or six cores, did they say? Six. Six? Because I see a central core, there's a core... Are there two cores for each wing? That must be it, then. Oh, that's too high for me. Oh no, is that the bomb? It didn't work. The missile was directed. Aegis is damaged. But the final retort is still intact, and that armor hardly looks scratched. So we destroy it. Ash, haven't we done enough? Huge swaths. Swaths of the city are in ruins. No! If we stop now, that sacrifice will have been for nothing. Win or lose, we need to know I did ever I need to know I did everything I could. You have! You fired a nuke at that thing for crying out loud. What's it going to take to convince you? This is more than you can handle. I don't know, but it hasn't convinced me yet. Oh, the boss is still reposed. There's oh, final retort. Oh, you're going up further. Oh, can I... Yeah, so Aegis is ascending so that it can make that orbital strike. Oh, did that blade take half of your heart nope. off? I took damage earlier. Ah. Okay, the whole sending missiles back at enemies thing mm -hmm. might not be super useful. Maybe not against this enemy. No. Uh, I destroy missiles by dodging, so it's less useful. On guard. Is that it? Did I do it? I think so. Ash, you actually did it. Wait, what's happening? The components seem to be rebuilding themselves. You're a good pilot, Ash. I'll be the first to admit that. But the Aegis is a force no pilot can defeat. Give up now. Surrender. All other threats have been destroyed. We can live in peace. That's all the Aegis wants. The final retort is in position, Ash. It's almost fully armed. There's no way for us to stop it. No. I'll never give in to you. Not while I've still got one last thing left to try. Ash, no, don't! Limiter deactivated. Void manipulation. Engage. Ash! Is this the end? Are you going to be fighting Aegis in space? That Bart did just such a brilliant job with this. <laughs> I've been listening to their oh, music. Look. There it is. Whoa! Void mode! Wait, did you just... 
shoot through it. Yeah. I wonder if New Game Plus actually has plot. Perhaps. Aww. I bet that was the bad end. It, this probably is the bad end. Where the nuke doesn't work, you sacrifice yourself and it it ends. Mm -hmm. But what ending... I know there's a new game plus with more bosses. Well, were there any more missions in the overworld that we could have completed? Or what if we had completed everything at A or S? I don't know. There's oh. Pierce. Yeah, there's Pierce. With the remnants of the... Creature. It's interesting. It's like it's blinking. Hmm? Hey, Ryan Lowy. Double shout out. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we'd be able to fight the final retort. Yeah, perhaps. Felt like there was one more fight. Yeah. Against Aegis itself, but... Yep, thanks to families, friends, fans. Thank you for playing. This feels... Is this New Game Plus? Yep, looks like it. We've still got all of our stuff. But what missions are we starting off with? Everything? Can we look at, like, a mission list? Well, we only have... We have to play through the entire game all over again? If I continue this, there we go. Final retort. Navigation. Completion, 82%. But I th think that's just... Is it one of those things where we won't be able to complete everything? Uh um, Unless we do New Game Plus, or, or is we it... we have to S-rank everything? Hmm. I'm gonna quick look this up. Because this could be like a New Game Plus situation. My big... Uh, where, like, if you do the New Game Plus, you fight the extra bosses and you get the good ending. My fear is, with that... We go wildly out of our way to replay all of those missions for a slightly different ending. 